let's look into the future. Well, isn't time series supposed to forecast anyway? Uh, Oh, well, let's see how Facebook looks at time series by asking what is the profit model? The world of time series was a buzz when in 2018, Facebook, well, actually Taylor and Lethem, which work at Facebook, revealed the profit algorithm that they use. Let's take a look at what this algorithm does under the hood. The profit algorithm is used for forecasting univariate or single time series by basically breaking it down into pieces, similar to what we learned with exponential smoothing. Just like with any time series, the goal of profit is to tease out the signal in a data set and forecast that signal into the future. Every technique just has a different approach to getting at that signal. For profit, that signal is broken down into three pieces, growth or trend, season, and holiday. Let's break down each of these separately. First, growth, also called trend. Basically, the profit model uses trend lines or time itself as a regressor in the model. Simple, right? But what if your data doesn't follow a purely linear trend? Have no fear, profit models growth in multiple ways. This trend that profit models is a piecewise trend. In other words, it selects not values or inflection points, if you will, where it literally creates two lines around that inflection point to best fit your data. These not values are automatically selected similar in fashion to a Mars algorithm used in piecewise linear regression. If only there was a series on linear models that covered this. Hmm. Anyway, of course, trend lines don't have to be linear either. You could have a dampened trend, which is very similar to the dampened trend in exponential smoothing models. Funny how time series models all look alike after a while. The next component is the seasonal component. This component uses Fourier variables, variables created from Fourier transforms. Wait, you forgot a Fourier transform is? We can't let that happen. Quick tangent. Joseph Fourier was a French mathematician who investigated Fourier series, which later developed into Fourier analysis. This led to harmonic analysis that studies sine and cosine waves of different frequencies. If you combine two sine or cosine curves of different frequencies, as you see in this visual, you can create combined patterns. These patterns can be used to model seasonal waves in time series data. All we need to do is add in sine and cosine variables as structured here. The capital S is the length of the seasonal period. The lowercase t is time itself. We include sine and cosine variables of different frequencies by multiplying by higher and higher values. One two, three, et cetera. In the profit model, by default, we have 10 terms to model away the yearly component of the data. This is because the profit model was originally designed for daily data, as you can see with the big S here being 365.25. We also have weekly seasons by default in the profit model that include three Fourier variables to help model it. Of course, the profit model is very flexible on the type of data you have. This means you can adjust these seasonal components to better represent the data you have as compared to the default. In fact, the biggest mistake I see people make with the profit model is just this. They assume the default seasons when they might have data that isn't even measured daily. Last but not least, we have the holiday component. This holiday component is nothing but a point intervention variable. All the point intervention variable is, is a binary indicator for a certain day. For example, if we had a sales promotion in December of 2016, then we could make a binary variable highlighting that month. That would help account for the spike in sales during that sales promotion. When it all boils down to it, Facebook's profit model is basically just a curve fitting procedure. It doesn't use any lags of Y or errors like an ARIMA like model would. It just takes the curve it fits and extends it into the future for forecasting. This could still be good. We aren't ever sure ahead of time which modeling technique is best. So we try them all. So what is the profit model? That is the profit model in under five minutes.